Tell you what, come in here at night alone with a fleur or even with two in a fleur and I pretty gar much guarantee you're gonna have some action. You gonna have some action. It's just super duper squatchy. This is like three miles from my house. And uh, this, I've been squatched here before at this exact location a couple times already. And uh, at nighttime, heard them splashing on the other side of the shore over there, making kinds of whoops and excitement and splashing and stuff. Couldn't see anything, but I could hear it pretty clearly. It's one of my favorite spots to come. Just get squatchier by the second around here. So we're just coming down in here. Me and Coda. And uh, here's a nice large tree break. They do them pretty big around here actually. Big, big ones. Some of the biggest tree breaks I've ever seen are around here. And it's not just from the wind. They get up on those branches and they do it. Like, see that? Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. That wasn't like that last time I was here. That's a fresh break. See that? And that is gigundous, okay? That is a gigundous tree break. <laughs> Just like that one. See, that's a double break, actually. It's an older one, but you can see it's a pretty good example of a double break right here. Boom, boom, those are both squatch, okay? That's squatch sign. That big old break up there, squatch sign. Like I said, you come here at night to this location, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. you be a brave soul. I did it once, I swore I wouldn't do it again unless I had the right recording equipment. I'll do it if I have the right equipment, but I ain't gonna just walk out here with all the squatch around in the middle of the night. This is where they hang out. This is their domain. I have a little more respect for them than that. Check this out. This is... This is... The other side of the lake. Now that... Is no man's land. That is where... Over there... There's a couple valleys that go back. You can kind of see. There's one there. One over there. Back in that other cove over there. They go back inside. Each one goes back and there's a creek that comes down. And uh, what I'd like to do is get dropped off on the far side and walk back. And my house is down that way at the end. In fact, my hab zone is that last line of hills down there on the horizon. That's my spot right there. So I'm down a ways. Me and the dog have walked all this way. It's about, I don't know, probably about five miles now we've walked. And uh, wanted to make this video. Now let's, maybe we should do it over here, maybe. I don't know. Let's try this, I wanna try this vid this camera out with the zoom thing. Because uh, the zoom is where it's at. I want to say thank you to Mr. Sam Farnish for donating this to the cause. He gave me this camera as a gift. Thank you very much. And let's see if I can get this level. Okay, that's a little better. Alrighty now. Let's do a little zoom in, huh? Oh yeah. That's what I like, super zoom. Super zoom. Let's just go right in there, huh? And then down a little bit. Uh-oh.
I like that shot. That's zooming right in there. I can't really tell what I'm looking at, but uh, could be eyes over there. I don't know what I'm looking at over here. Who knows? Zoom out a little. Well, anyways, we could go up here. And zoom in up here. Running low on battery. Won't be long now. But uh, there's a road right there. See that cut? That road goes down right along here. And uh, Over there, that's where they live. That's one of their daytime hangouts over there. But uh, I don't go charging in there because uh, I don't want to piss them off. But uh, if I had the right gear, I'd take a walk along this road and along this trail 
along the shore on this side, which is, woo, that's gonna make you dizzy, which is uh, plenty squatchy enough without even going on their side of the lake. I mean, it's all their lake, if you ask me. It's all their side, that's for sure. <laughs> it's no side that's not their side. Let's look across the lake over here and see if we see anything in the trees. I'm not seeing anything. What I'll see is, I'll see a violent shaking branch. One tree that shakes violently out of place, so to speak. Out of place, like. Let's look at this big break here. We've got a couple of breaks here. That is just ginormous. There's more than one in this tree. There's that one right there, which is new. And you got that one there, and you got that one there. So this is like a marker for sure. See that? And you see that? Boom, straight down. Boom, straight down. And now, a whole big old branch straight down. Oh my word. Okay, so now we got the whole friggin' trail is got a big giant push in it right here. Check this out. Yeah, okay, check this out. So you come down here, and voila! You may not pass. <laughs> you may not pass. You shall not pass. Look at that. They just messed that up. Kush douche ouge. Wow. Okay. So they don't want us going that way. And that is, you can tell from this angle, look at that. That's a green break. It just happened like within a week or so. Anyway, if I had a flur that I could tell what it was shooting when I aimed it with my free hand, I'd risk my home. Now I'd come out here and I'd, I'd walk this place right here at night. Scary as that might seem, as trust me, this is some serious squatchification out here at night. All right, it is in the daytime too, but I'm telling you, there's some big friggin' squatch out here. Big! Okie day, tree peekers on patrol. and the Superdog Coda. He's my indicator. He'll catch a whiff of something or he'll, he'll cue me in when there's, when there's things I can't hear or smell. He cues me in. I mean, look how dark it is down here, look at this. It's dark and squatchy all day long. Look at that. That is just thick woods, okay, people? Super thick woods. Going down, hey, hey, Coda, Coda, come here. Not going in that water, come on, no. Come on. Come on. Anyway. Down in the woods to the water. That's what the dog wants to do. But uh, we're not going swimming. Anyway, tree peekers. In a very squatchy location, about three miles from my house, four miles from my house. I'm just gonna try to run this battery out, I guess. Let's go up here and see what we see. Back in the winter time, 
me and my buddy Chris rode down here on our bikes and a squat just came right here and was hanging out. I had the movie on down there and we caught it. It's in one of those lakeside videos on tree peekers. And uh, heard knocks from up here almost immediately. In those days when I was out here, it was early in the morning, I was by myself. Or I might have the dog, I don't know. Anyway, it was foggy early in the morning. It's a good time to squatch. I like early in the morning the best myself. Or the dusk. It's not bad any time actually, but I really like the mornings. And you can see here. They just love it like that, huh? That's how they like it. Full of poison oak and stickers. Really uninviting to humans. They just love it. And getting better than that for them. They know we're not going in there. Oh, what'd you catch? Mr. Indicator caught a scent. What'd you smell? <laughs> Something to eat. Now, walking here at night with no light on, it's pretty good because these are old roads here. So, you don't want to go bushwhacking when you don't have a headlamp on. And I don't recommend squatching around with no headlamps on because, you know, their eyes are sensitive enough. They don't really like it. So, uh, back up to the main road here. This used to be the highway. And it runs along the lake. It's pretty uh, amazing. It says I'm gonna run out of battery any minute. So I guess later, Gators. Tree peekers on patrol. <laughs>